All right, what we're doing today is we are starting our notes for section 4.1. And our first vocabulary word is a transformation. And everything in chapter 4 deals with transformations. A transformation is when you move or change an object. The things that we'll be able to do is we'll be able to slide them, rotate them, flip them, and even make them bigger or smaller. But the general term when you're doing any kind of movement or changing of an object is called a transformation. So what we do when we have transformations, we have something called a pre-image. And a pre-image is the image before the transformation occurs. So if you notice this parallelogram here, this is the parallelogram before, this is the pre-image, and then it gets turned and it becomes the new image. So my pre-image has the capital A and my new image has the A prime, the A apostrophe. The next thing we have is the image. The image is the after. So A was the pre-image and now A prime is the image. So the image is after the transformation occurs. Our next definition is rigid motion. And rigid motion are transformations that keep the object the same, meaning the object is congruent. The pre-image is congruent to the image. So pre-image and image are exactly the same size. So when something is a rigid motion, it stays the same size. Our next type of definition is translation. And translation is actually a type of transformation. And a translation is when you slide. So you can slide to the left, you could slide to the right, you could slide up, you could slide down. So a translation is a slide. When you have a translation, you have something called the initial point. This is where the translation begins. So this is the pre-image. And so the pre-image was A, and then it went to A point, A prime. And so the, the initial point is the starting point. You also have something called a terminal point, and a terminal point is where you end for the translation. So the A prime is the terminal point. A vector is when I move and so it's x y and so if I go to the left 5 I write a negative 5 if I go up 2 I write a positive 2 so the left and right number goes first the up and down number goes second and you have these funny little brackets and that's how you do your vector notation Component form for translations is another way to write it. And what happens here is it's x, y goes to x plus or minus something and y plus or minus something. It's going to be a plus if you go to the right for the x's and a minus if you go to the left for the x's. On the y's, it's going to be a plus if you go up and a minus if you go down. And so we'll do that same example as before. Going to the left 5 is an x, so it's x minus 5. And going up 2 is moving up, which is a y, so it's y plus 2. The horizontal component is how much you move left or right. It's the x value. Remember, x always comes before y, so it has to be the first thing. They will not always give it to you first, but you have to know that if you move left or right, that is the x value that you're changing. The vertical component is how much you go up or down. And so that's the y value. So you have to make sure that if it says it goes up 5, it's a positive 5. If it goes down 5, it's a minus 5. A composition. A composition is when you have more than one transformation. Sometimes you're going to do a translation and then another translation, and eventually you're going to do translations and rotations and the other four things that we can have. 
but a composition is when you do more than one transformation.